In this video, I'm going to introduce the rich text box control for a Windows form application. The rich text box is like a more advanced uh, regular text box. The rich text box allows input and output of multi lines of data. And the rich text box allows you to use the special white space characters, the new line character and the tab character where the regular text box does not let you print new lines and tabs, the rich text box will handle those. So the rich text box is a convenient control if you wanted to output formatted data. Now the properties and methods of a rich text box are very similar to a regular text box. There is a text property that contains the string data type and any string value that's put into the text property of the rich text box displays in the rich text box. And the text property can be changed either by the user or by the application. The rich text box can be enabled or not. A disabled rich text box prevents it from being interacted with. A rich text box can be visible or not, meaning if the, if the, if the rich text box is not visible, you can't see it. The rich text box can be marked as read only to only allow it to accept uh, output and the rich text box can have its back color and foreground color changed. The methods you can use with a rich text box are the same as with a regular text box. There are There is a show and hide method which changes the visible property value. The clear method can be used to uh, erase all of the text that is currently written to the text property of the rich text box. The append text method can be used for adding additional string characters into the text property of the rich text box. And the focus method can be called if you want to set focus to the rich text box. The default event that is registered with a rich text box is the text changed event. So if you double click a rich text box, you will get a text changed event registered for that text box. And this event is triggered every time the rich text box's text property is changed or modified, either by the user or the application. Let's do a quick example. So here I have my form. I'm going to go to my toolbox, the common controls uh, tab here, and go down and find a rich text box control. Drag it onto my form. And we see by default it is the rich text box looks like a bigger text box. It can handle multi-line values. I can stretch it out. So let's go ahead and stretch this out here. And now, because the rich text box is usually used uh, or often used as an output of multi-line data, I'm going to add some additional controls that will help me add data to this uh, text box or rich text box. So I'm going to grab two buttons, so button one, button two, drag them onto my form. And I'm going to rename button one I'm going to call this append text button. Just make it a little bigger here. And I'm going to register a click event handler for the click event on this button so that when you click on this button, I want to add text to the rich text box. So I'm going to call this uh, append text click. And register an, a method to handle that event. And then our second button, I'm just going to call reset call this the reset button and I'm going to register a click event handler and I'm going to call this reset text box click. Okay, so we have re we, I have registered an event with both of these buttons. When the user clicks on the append text uh, button, what I wanted to do is add a line of text to the rich text box. Rich text box. So I'm going to say rich text box one dot text. Now I'm going to say dot append text. And we'll append the text clicked. So every time I click the text box, we're going to add a text, this text to the rich text box. For the reset click button, I'm going to clear all text from the rich text box. So in this case, when this reset button is clicked, I'm going to say rich text box one dot I'll call the clear method. So one button will add or append some values to the rich text box, the other will clear it. Now notice I'm I'm appending a line of or a string of text with the new line character in there. So let's see how this works. Uh, 
All right, so when I click the append text button, I am appending a line of text and notice each uh, new line is occurring on a new line because the rich text box accepts the new line character. And when I click the reset button, we can clear the, the rich text box. Now the rich text box allows for text to kind of go off the, the, the boundaries of the rich text box and a scroll bar has appeared here. So it, even though if, if I add more lines of text than your boundaries initially will allow, that's okay. That text will still be written to the text box and we can still kind of scroll down and see it. Now when I click reset here, the scroll bar stayed active. Okay, and I can append more text, but we kind of have a little funky thing going on with the scroll bar. All right, so let's see if we can handle, let's make this a little cleaner. Well, the rich text box has a, let's look at some of these properties here. Does it have a property associated with the scroll bar? Um, let's see, I thought it did. Hmm, let's search for it manually here. I'm going to say rich text box one dot scroll scroll bars. There is a scroll bar property here. And that scroll bar property takes what type of data type? It takes a rich text box scroll bars enumerated data type. So let's try something here. I'm going to set this equal to a rich text box scroll bars dot. And we have some options here where I can show horizontal and vertical scroll bars, but there's an option to show no scroll bars. So we're going to put that in here. So when I clear the rich text box, I'm going to look for the scroll bars property and set it to display no scroll bars. Let's see if that works. All right, so here I am appending text. We get our little scroll bar here, and now when I reset the text, I get a nice clean text box. The scroll bars have been removed. Anyway, I, this just scratches the surface, but I hope this helps uh, you get started with using the rich text box control.